This is lesson number six. Uh, it is about writing and graphing inequalities. So let's just first talk about um, writing an inequality, how you can write an inequality to represent a situation. Let's look at some examples here. Number one, you must be over 12 years old to ride the go-karts. So if you're doing it with words, your age is over 12. Okay, now throw a variable in there. Let A equal your age. And then if you want to write it into uh, an inequality, it's going to be your age has to be greater than 12. Let's look at number two here. A pony is less than 14.2 hands tall. Okay, so if we're talking about words, we have... A pony is less than 14.2. Now, we put the P as a variable, the height of the pony. So the P, height of the pony, has to be less than 14.2. So the inequality is P is less than 14.2. Number three, you must be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. You must be at least, at least, it means you can be 16, but you have to be 16 years at least, 16 or older to have a driver's license. So words, your age is at least 16. Uh, we're going to have A be your age. So the inequality is A has to be greater than or equal to 16. So the inequality is A is greater than or equal to 16. Okay, that's how you say it with words, uh, with a variable, and then writing the inequality. Let's look at a few of these. Uh, you can just kind of listen to me as I go through these. I know it's kind of uh, not the best clarity here. A, you must be older than 13 to play in the basketball game. Okay, so I'm going to say A is age. Age must be greater than 13. Now, it's not equal to 13 because you have to be older than. Not at least 13, but you have to be older than 13. Okay. To use one stamp, your domestic letter must weigh under 3.5. So my letter must be less than 3.5 ounces. You must be over 48 inches tall to ride the roller coaster. Height must be greater than 48 inches. You must be at least, ooh, here's that at least, at least 18 years old to vote. So A for age must be greater than or equal to 18 years old. Okay, that's how you write and inequality. Now let's talk about graphing it. Inequalities can be graphed on a number line. Sometimes it's impossible to show the values that make an inequality true. Uh, impossible to show all of them because there could be infinite a number of them. The graph helps you to see the variables that make the inequality true. So uh, graph each inequality on a number line. If we have 4 is greater than 9, so we have 9 here, so it's not 9, but anything, anything except for 9, everything greater than 9, and it would be like 9.1, everything just, you put a circle around 9, saying that it's not 9, but it's every little thing greater than 9. Okay? Place an open dot at 9 and then draw a line and an arrow to the right. Let's look at the next one. 5 is less than or equal to 10. So you go to 10. Now you can put a closed dot here because 10 would work. And it just has to be less than, which it could go on forever. Okay, let's try these. A is less than 15. I'm going to put a circle around 15 because it's not 15, but it's everything 
less than 15 makes that a true statement. Okay, B is greater than or equal to 7, close dot, and everything above it, greater than or equal to 7. Okay? Let's see, one more example. Traffic on a residential street can travel at speed no more than 25 miles per hour. Write and graph an inequality to describe the possible speeds on the street. Let's represent the speed on the street. So the inequality is the speed must be less than or equal to 25. Can't go any higher than 25. So then to graph it, you put a dot, a solid dot on 25, and you go all the way to the left, which shows that it's under 25, and we'll make this inequality a true statement. Okay?